It's my feel-good breakfast show. Are we now joined by chef extraordinaire Shana um, Herman? Of course, Shana shared the Dubai experience together with our Ewan and is here to share one of her favorite recipes from the trip. But first of all, do you have a favorite memory? What is Ewan like? In Dubai, in the Middle East, was he a, a valiant companion? Yeah, it was really great. We, uh, my favorite experience, actually, we went on this desert safari. So we went to this Bedouin camp. Wow. And as soon as you get there, they serve dates and coffee, which are like two of my favorite things. Um, you know, as we just said, they're very sugary. So like, and I love <laughs> baking and sugar. So they invite you in with this. And you and the crew come in and they're all setting up. And the rest of the food people are just eating the dates and drinking the coffee. And you see him interviewing this guy, um, Muhammad, who basically like runs this Bedouin camp. And it's just so funny because like kind of in the middle of it, he gets a phone call and he's like in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> and you can see, you can see like this little wire coming from his outfit and he's got like the earpiece like you. Got his it's Bluetooth just, going. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But it was so great to see them in action, like the crew and you know, videoing everyone and everything. He was a great companion, yeah. Uh, no, we know he's yeah. the, the perfect gentleman. <laughs> yeah. um, how would you say Dubai food cuisine, especially the old Bedouin cuisine is typified? What makes it very much its own? <laughs> Um, I would say that it's all, obviously it's got to be like very natural. There probably isn't goat, maybe there is goat cheese, but it's a lot of camel, camel milk. Um, and then they have the, they have modern amenities as well. So they bring stuff in now, but dates are in everything. But they did serve us pancakes, um, <laughs> <laughs> which were a little bit sandy because there was a sandstorm, but. <laughs> I'm sure yeah. after day two, you don't even notice it. No. So, so we're going to whip up what you call is a very Bedouin um, treat, um, something that looks delicious. And, and it's got some interesting flavors combined. What, what are we making? OK, so we're making um, goat's cheese and pistachio with a little bit of honey stuffed dates. And okay. that's it. They're really easy. They're great for like a party. Um, so you just you take the date, you cut it open. And these are beautiful dates. So these are really easy to manage. But you just cut it open kind of like a bowl. And you take pistachios. You put the pistachios in the goat cheese, but just leave a few pistachios so that you can kind of sprinkle them on top. It makes it look pretty. They're nice and green. <laughs> just a, always yeah. think of presentation, yeah. Yeah, of course. I'm sure the Bedouins were thinking of that too. <laughs> um, just a squeeze of lemon. It kind of cuts through the sweetness of all the flavor. And a little bit of honey. You you don't have to put the honey in if the dates are sweet enough. Yeah. yeah. It also helps Drizzle. a bit to bind, I suppose, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you just mix it together. Um, super, super simple. Easy oh, enough. Lovely. And you can smell the lemon and the pistachios coming together. And you just put it in the date, pretty simple. Um, yeah, and I mean, the food there is, it's its incredible. They have unbelievable cuisine. They um, are such an international destination that you can actually find anything there. Um, we were eating at this um, Argentinian restaurant and this person made lamb. Um, and I look across the table and Ewan's like in the bone, <laughs> like it's up to his face. And That's I was how like, we okay, do it in yeah, South Africa. Yeah. That's how we do it. Exactly. Yeah. And I was like, okay, well, if he's doing it, I'm going to do that too. And, it, and it, was, it was a much, obviously a much better way. It's always nicer to eat with your hands anyway. So, oh man, yeah. this is looking delicious. Yeah. Couldn't be easier to make. Yeah, but they have they have absolutely everything there. And I, I love the fact that they use food uh, as a big part of their social interaction. The first thing that happens to you when you meet after presumably a long trek through yeah, the desert yeah. is a person waiting with food. They wash your hands with rose That's water exactly, yeah. and give you your, your date. It's all a ritual, you know, and, and, and for them, their culture is so important to them and they really, it's important to uphold their culture and so you know, you find all these little bits throughout Dubai, and I know there was just a segment about um, old Dubai, yeah. and it and it really is still like that. You know, so they, they food's very important to them, just like I guess everyone. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, while we do the finishing touches to this, we're going to get savvy now. You can now catch up with the Nedbank Network News team. Oh, I'm going to have to taste one of these guys. Yeah. I'm going to have to. Cut the dates open and create space in the middle. Mix goat's cheese, lemon juice, honey and pistachios. Spoon into open dates, sprinkle with a few extra pistachios and drizzle with honey. For the full recipe, visit the Expresso Morning Show Facebook page or log on to expressoshow.com. SMS the keyword cheese to 33728 to receive the shopping list on your phone. Click on the link provided to view the recipe. SMSs cost 1 rand 50, no free SMSs, T's and C's apply. All right, that keyword again is cheese to double three seven two eight. These are coming along very nicely here. Um, I like the fact that we've been able to create so much with so little. Um, okay, we're going to have a little bit of taste of this while we do get savvy now with our NetBank Network News team.